हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज दैट इज मेथड्स ऑफ प्लांट डिसीज मेजरमेंट दैट इज हाउ वी हैव टू मेजर द इंसिडेंस ऑफ दैट डिसीज और इंटेंसिटी ऑफ डिसीज ऑन प्लांट फॉर दैट मेजरमेंट इन थेरोटिकल टॉपिक वी डिस्कस ऑलरेडी वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द हाउ टू मेजर द प्लांट डिसीज इंटेंसिटी एंड प्लान डिसीज सिवेरिटी so as per discussion as we know that disease incidence is nothing but the number or proportion of plant unit that are diseased for example the diseased part that is plants leaves flower fruits in relation to the total number of units examined so this is then the formula for disease incidence and it is expressed in percentage so different diseases for example in few diseases for example cereal smut neck blast brown rot of stone fruit vascular wilt disease for that we as we know that once the incidence of such diseases occurred so it there will there is a chances they caused the total loss so for calculation of that actual loss there is an one term that is called as a disease severity so with the help of the disease severity or disease incidence we calculate how much amount of damage is there so for that a different grade system was developed by the scientist for example the scientist horsfall and barrett so that scientist developed the 12 12 grade systems so as we discussed in previous lecture the different grading system was given by that scientist so how it grades for example in that example that zero will be there so that zero indicates the 1% disease at least zero to 1% disease here here that zero to 1% disease the next one suppose two will be there so here suppose one will be there so near about 0% disease two is there so in disease will be there 0 to 3% suppose three will be there so disease will be 3 to 6% suppose in grading system four will be there so four indicates 6 to 12% disease then five will be there so disease incidence will be a 12 to 25% that means what that different grades indicates the intensity of that disease here so let us see how we calculate percent disease index with the help of formula then we will see the different examples how we calculate that pdi so for calculation of that pdi one formula is given as we know that it is pdi is equal to sum of numerical rating scale divided by number of leaves assessed into maximum grade in that formula maximum grade is already given and the sum of numerical rating scale that means depending on which scale is used for the assessment of plant disease that scale is also given so let us see the one example then it is better for understanding as uh, so first example is calculate the pdi of one plant listen carefully because we calculate the pdi percent disease index for the one plant having three branches selected that is upper branch middle branch and lower branch so we have to calculate the pdi for the different branches so as we know that pdi is expressed in percent or percentage so here data is given here data is given that is here 0 1 2 3 4 that scale will be given here and maximum grade is used 5 for all branches that we give that will be given in example so if in case of that 
or for upper branch when we calculate pdi for upper branch there is an five here the five leaves they they show no any damage then two leaves shows some of the damage that will become under 1% then one leaves they comes under 2 one leaves they comes under 3 and one leaves they comes under 4 that means that 5 2 1 1 that is the number of leaves that are assessed with the help of that scale so as we know that that zero indicates that means what there is no incidence of that disease that is zero percent disease is assessed then one indicates disease intensity will be a uh, near about 1 to 10% two indicates the disease intensity will be a uh, near about 20 to 40 percent three indicates the disease will be appears near about a uh, 50 to 75 percent and four indicates disease will be appears up to 75 to 100 percent so that indicate that is zero one two three four that indicates the that percent of damage of that leaves so let us very simple here this sum that is for that calculation just we have to write down the formula that is pdi is equal to sum of numerical rating scale divided by number of leaves into maximum grade so for that sum of numerical rating scale that means what we have to multiply that 5 into 0 that is here it will, it will be indicated 5 into 0 plus then 2 into 1 that is 2 into 1 plus 1 into 2 then 1 into 3 and 1 into 4 so just we have to multiply the number of leaves assessed and the the scale which is given and divided by number of leaves as we know that here near about 10 leaves is assessed here 5 2 that is 7 8 9 and 10 so 10 leaves are assessed here the number of leaves will be assessed here given so any uh, 10 leaves will be assessed here so you should write number of leaves assessed 10 into maximum grade is already given in formula that is 5 it is constant or depending on disease that grade is also different so 5 so just we have to do the calculation so in that way near about for upper branch the pdi is equal to that is 22% damage will be observed on the upper branch similarly here just we have to take the observation for the middle branch that is here maximum grade is given as it is constant for all that is 5 here and as we know that we have to use the different scale as uh, uh, here 0 1 2 3 4 5 as we described in theoretical lecture and previous so 0 that means what two leaves they do not having any kind of damage then one leaves having near about 10% damage then here two leaves indicates near about 10 to 30% damage three leaves they indicates 30 to 50% of damage one leaves having near about 50 to 75% damage and again similar here two leaves having the 25 uh, that is two leaves shows the 75 to 100% of damage so just just put the value in given formula that is just we have to multiply 2 into 0 1 into 1 here 2 into 2 2 into 3 1 into 4 and 2 into 5 and just we have to make the calculation divided by number of leaves again here 2 1 2 2 1 2 that is 10 10 number of leaves is assessed 10 into this is grade maximum grade is 5 into 100 so just we have to make the calculation so when we make the such a calculation so 50% of damage will be observed then let us see the next
then let us see next pdi for lower branch pdi for lower branch that is six that is six leaves having no any kind of damage that is zero then one indicates that is one leaves having near about 10 percent of damage approximately then two indicates that one leaf shows near about 30 to 45 percent damage one leaf shows near about 50 to 75 percent damage and one leaf shows near about 75 to 10 100 percent of damage so just we have to make the calculation so after that calculation the pdi for the lower branch is for 20 percent so just we have to calculate the mean for the upper branch middle branch and lower branch just we have to make the calculation just just like this here 22 percent for lower branch 50 percent for middle branch and 20 percent for middle branch divided by 3 so when we calculate the mean of that upper branch lower middle branch and lower branch so near about 30.66 near about 31 percent of that plant having damage will be assessed so similarly for different or just for five plants we have to do that that is first second third fourth fifth in that way we have to calculate for the second third fourth and fifth plant on upper middle and lower branch we have to calculate the disease severity on second plant third plant fourth plant and fifth plant where we have to calculate the mean so that second for second plant mean is having 31.5 for third plant 30.6 then for fourth plant 32.5 and for fifth plant 31.0 so in that way we have to calculate divided by 5 so in that way the mean for all five plants will be a 31.25 percent that indicates that percent disease damage or percent disease index is near about 31.25 percent so in that way we have to calculate the pdi for the total plant by calculating the damage on upper middle and lower branch for the detail you have to solve the such examples which is given in your manual then second <coughs> for that for that we then next we discuss about the second example that is in banana field 500 plants are there out of that 25 plants damaged by bunchy top of banana so as we know that bunchy top of banana is a disease that occurs on the banana which is caused by the virus then calculate PDI for bunchy top of banana by that field. That means how much damage is occurred due to the attack of disease that is bunchy top of banana. So first of all just you should write down the given data. So very simple here for that as we know that here 500 plants are there in field. So out of that 500 banana plant, 25 plants get damaged by bunchy top of banana. So here we have to mention that out of 500 plants, out of here, out of 500 plants, 25 plant is damaged. So for calculation of PDI, that is as we know that PDI is expressed in percent. Percent that means what? 100. So out of 100 how much damage or how many plants are damaged here so just we have to calculate the pdi simply that is pdi is equal to 100 into 25 divided by 500 so near about 5 percent of damage is observed in banana field that is the pdi is equal to 5 percent so in that way So in that way there will be a 5% plant disease index or percent disease intensity or index for bunchy top of banana by that field. Then similarly the simple example is given. The third example is that 
कैलकुलेट पी डी आई फॉर चिकू और सपोटा प्लांट ओवर द एरिया ऑफ वन हेक्टर लैंड दैट मीन्स हियर द एरिया इज के वन दैट इज वन हेक्टर लैंड वेयर प्लांटेशन इज अवॉर्डन एट एन स्पेसिंग ऑफ टेन बाय टेन मीटर एंड इन्फेक्टेड प्लांट्स आर थर्टीन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड मैंशन द गिवन डाटा दैट इज एरिया इज अबाउट वन हेक्टर एंड द स्पेसिंग इज गिवन दैट इज टेन बाय टेन मीटर एंड द इन्फेक्टेड प्लांट्स आर थर्टीन सो हियर एज वी नो दैट जस्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया एंड स्पेसिंग सो एरिया एज वी नो दैट हियर जस्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एरिया इज इक्वल टू एज वी नो दैट एरिया डिवाइडेड बाय स्पेसिंग जस्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टोटल प्लांट पॉपुलेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फॉर दैट सो एरिया इज गिवन दैट इज वन हेक्टर सो एज वी नो दैट वन हेक्टर इज इक्वल टू हियर वन हेक्टर इज इक्वल टू दो वेन वी कैलकुलेट द प्लांट पॉप्युलेशन फॉर दैट दिस फॉर्म्यूला इज देयर एरिया डिवाइडेड बाय स्पेसिंग सो एरिया इज इक्वल टू टेन थाउजेंड मीटर स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाय स्पेसिंग दैट इज टेन बाय टेन दैट इज हंड्रेड मीटर सो बाय दैट कैलकुलेशन वी ऑप्टेन द टोटल प्लांट पॉप्युलेशन इज हंड्रेड so out of 100 as per exam as per exam uh, as per data given in example out of 100 13 plants are infected that means in the area or in plant population that is out of 100 plants 13 plants are infected so for calculation of pdi that is in percentage so out of 100 how many plants is infected so simply pdi is equal to we have to calculate the formula the 100 into 13 divided by 100 so 13% of pdi for chiku plants over the area for or of 1 hectare that means 30% plants will be damaged due to the disease so in that way we, there is an very uh, few examples also given in your manual so you have to calculate next one next fourth example the plantation population that is planted of chiku plants that is 10 by 15 meter over an area of 1 hectare that means here the spacing is given 10 by 15 meter and area is given 1 hectare number of plants infected is 23 so calculate pdi in percent so very simple here the spacing is given 15 by 10 meter is equal to 150 meter total area is equal to 1 hectare that is 10000 meter square so area divided by spacing is equal to 10000 divided by 150 so 66.6 that is near about 67 plant population will be there so out of 66, 66 plant 23 plants is damage so out of 100 how many plants is damage so just we have to calculate by formula pdi is equal to 100 into 23 divided by 66 and in that with 34.84% pdi is obtained that is out of 100 34.84% plant get damage then let us see the six example the new type of example that will be compulsory asked for exam examination that is calculate the pdi for smut disease of wheat in which the quadrant is given that means what suppose here the quadrant is given that means what suppose that quadrant that field will be there in that field is divided by the different a uh, quadrant that means here that quadrant one second this is your first quadrant second quadrant third fourth fifth sixth so in that way the quadrant will be there and in that quadrant the plants of or the plantation of wheat is there wheat crop is grown in each quadrant so in each quadrant after taking the observation so the following data is observed and with the help of that following data we have to calculate the pdi for this mud disease okay so here the data is given that is first one is there here the 150 out of 150 plants of that first quadrant 
at the first quadrant out of 150 plant 10 plant is damaged d for damage in second quadrant out of 160 plant 7 plant is damaged in third quadrant out of 140 plant 10 plant is damaged then in fourth quadrant out of 161 plant 16 uh, plants are damaged and out of 155 plants 15 plants are damaged so that data is given and on the basis of that data we can calculate the PDI for smart disease so it is a very simple example so here simply here just we have to calculate the PDI that is out of 100 how many plant get damaged and after that we have to calculate the mean of total okay so in first quadrant as per given data 150 out of 150 plants here the first quadrant out of 150 plants 10 plants are damaged so out of 100 how many plants are damaged so PDI is equal to we have to put the, uh, by using formula we have to calculate 10 into 100 divided by 150 so out of 100 that is 66.66% uh, 66 plant get damage in second quadrant out of 160 plants 7 plants get damage so for PDI that is out of 100 how many plants get damage so by calculation 4.3 plants are damaged for third, third quadrant out of 40 plants 10 plants get damaged and just we have to calculate out of 100 how many plants get damaged so near about 9.9 percent damage will be there that is PDI is equal to 9.9 percent for third quadrant so so in that way for each quadrant we have to calculate up to five quadrants we have to calculate after that five quadrant in fifth quadrant the 9.6 plant uh, or PDI is equal to 9.6 percent or percent this is index up to 9.6 percent so when we calculate the mean of all five quadrant so first quadrant 6.6 second quadrant 4.3 third quadrant 7.1 fourth quadrant 9.9 .9, and fifth quadrant 9.6 so we have to calculate the mean divided by 5 divided by 5 we have to calculate the mean so 37.56 divided by 5 so mean is about 75 or sorry 7.5 percent so for each quadrant when we calculate the pdi so we get the mean of that each and for, uh, with the help of that mean we have to calculate the total disease plant disease damaged so in that way the certain examples is also given in your manual so just we have to do the practice of that examples because same example is asked for your examination for five marks so if any difficulty so you should ask me first of all you should read the ex lecture first of all you should read the manual and the lecture which is given or which is given to you and if any difficulty in that topic so please ask me because it is simple but you if you do the practice so it is it looks like simple okay thank you